Hey guys, welcome to Alvin Ten Health. Let's check out this uh, video call. It's a, uh, you know, another Epic History TV video, okay? It's part three of Alexander the Great, okay? I just got done reacting to the, um, the new Napoleon video that came out, Napoleon in Egypt. That reaction is, if you're seeing this, it's already up there, okay? So, you know, it, it, it was so cool to see Napoleon in Egypt and all that battle and crazy, some barbaric shit happening in there too. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but um, in that video, um, the narrator mentioned that, uh, you know, Napoleon was inspired by the greats, like Alexander. He's like two figures. I forgot the other name, but one of them is Alexander. He was inspired by him and he would do exactly what Alexander would do in 10 situations, which is fight back, motherfucker. Okay, so my, that might turn out to be a bad decision <laughs> but uh, we don't know because the the video just ended and apparently he will attack so i don't know <laughs> i don't know what the fuck will happen but let's watch this uh, part three of alexander the great uh basically i'm doing this reaction it's because um this is the shortest video in the whole series i mean in all the parts so far okay so there's other videos that are even shorter in in this series in this playlist but it's not part of the whole story now okay i'm in part three so this is the shortest of all the parts okay so let's watch this and that's why i'm reacting to this because i want to see how great alexander even like in part three and what happens in part four and all that i would like to know okay especially after that shit with alex uh, you know napoleon um inspired by alexander and all that from that video I'm like, I'm, I want to see this now, okay? So, let's just watch this, okay? Part 3 of Alexander the Great. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. It's uh, 10 minutes, only 10 minutes long. It's it's small, it's short, and it will get things done. And I'm sorry for the uh, color or the light is always... In every video, the light is... The color just falls on my face, makes my face unwatchable and shit so i might have to figure out a way it might take time i don't know but let's just watch it okay three to one let's go epic is for Trevor and invicta alexander the great part three in part okay in 334 bc hmm. alexander 21 year old ruler of the small greek <laughs> kingdom of i can't believe he's just 21 year old that's like a kid <laughs> just fucking just a small kid he doesn't even know anything about the world i mean based on today's standards the the kids who are like 21 years old 23 years old they don't know shit they they, they all, all they know is be a stupid motherfucker that's all they are they they go to college or something and all they know is some of the education they're not even like studying that well they don't know much about they're just wasting time <laughs> it's like that unless you go out there and you know work for yourself get experienced and become uh, see the world for yourself and grow you're never gonna grow up and that's something i i feel like education is limiting the youth of this generation man especially uh, this whole millennia all the for the past three, four decades, the education has been ruining the youth, I feel like. I don't know. Unless you're going to achieve something with your education, don't even attempt to educate yourself. Un unless, I mean, educate yourself. But don't go into institutions, you know. Don't, don't join institutions, schools, colleges and shit. Unless you want to get some kind of a crazy ass job or anything. Just my uh, opinion, so whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Macedonia led an invasion of the vast Persian Empire. Hmm. It seemed impossible odds. Hmm. But thanks to Greek military dominance and Alexander's fearless leadership, hmm. he won two great battles against the Persians. Jeez! <laughs> at the river Granicus. Wow. And at Issus. Hmm. That's crazy. Having subdued Dang. Persian lands west of the Euphrates River, he now headed east into the empire's heartlands, hmm. seeking a final showdown with the Persian king, Darius III. Oh, fuck! Oh, man! Receiving news that a great Persian army led by Darius had assembled at Gaugamela, near modern Mosul in Iraq, he made huh. straight for it. This was Darius' last chance to stop Alexander. Shit! And Alexander's chance to smash Persian power. 
once and for all. Dang! The Battle of uh, Gorgamilla. Okay. Dang! Darius oh, had chosen man. to fight on open ground. That looks crazy. His advantage in numbers would be his more Stripes apparent. like zebra stripes his on the ground. His soldiers had also worked hard to clear and flatten the terrain huh. to make it suitable for Persian war chariots. Cool shit. By modern estimates, the Persian army was between 50 and 80,000 strong. Oh, and made man. up of contingents from across the empire. Across the empire. Infantry from Syria and Babylonia. Hmm. Cavalry from Armenia, India, and Central oh, Asia. Oh, shit! India, too? <laughs> I'm Indian, so Up it's to like, 200 what? sized <laughs> chariots. Oh, okay. Even a handful of war elephants. Of war elephants? Holy shit! Alexander's wow. Alexander's army was smaller and may have been outnumbered by as much as two to one. Hmm. Jeez. He deployed his units in their usual formation. Usual formation. On the left flank, Thracian and Thessalian cavalry, hmm. commanded by Parmenian. Wow! In the center, the Macedonian veterans of the phalanx, each armed wow. with their 18 foot Sarissa pike. Oh man! Jeez! On the right flank, Alexander <laughs> with his elite cavalry, the oh. companions, Shit. and his best infantry. The Hypaspists. And the Hypaspists. These were the units with which Alexander planned to launch his main attack. Huh. Okay. Cool. Greek hoplites formed cool a second formation. line and supported both wings, which okay. were angled back to guard against encirclement by the Persians. Hmm. Cool stuff. Insane. Dang. Battle began Very intimidating. When Alexander led his wing out to the right. A move that took the Persians by surprise. Oh! Could Alexander really be trying to encircle their huge army? Oh shit! I don't know what's happening. Oh Persians man, it's getting intense! Movement, taking troops away from their center to outflank Alexander. Huh. And prevent him leaving the area they'd cleared for the Persian chariots. Okay. But Alexander's unusual maneuver was a trap oh. to entice the Persians to weaken their center. <laughs> Shit. When he saw that it had worked, oh, he ordered man. his Greek cavalry to charge to keep the Persians fixed in position. Huh. Wow! A giant cavalry battle developed on the right wing. Oh my god! Darius, meanwhile, judging this to be the decisive moment, unleashed his chariots. Okay! <laughs> what the fuck? Be careful! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> expert Agrianes javelin throwers took out horses and crews, hmm. while the Greek infantry opened lanes, allowing hmm. the chariots to pass harmlessly through. Oh my God! Oh shit! Look at them spears! Now, poking through your stomach. Holy cavalry shit. And parts of the Macedonian phalanx in a headlong charge straight at the weakened Persian center, fighting oh, his way man. towards Darius himself. The sudden ferocity of Alexander's assault threw the Persians into panic. The center mm. of the army broke and ran. King Darius himself leading the rout. Wow! Wow! But Alexander's left wing was in serious trouble. Hmm. Parmenion, facing a huge onslaught by Persian cavalry, was virtually surrounded. Indian and Scythian horsemen had even ridden through a gap in the Greek line. Wow! But rather Shit. than wheeling and attacking the Greeks from behind, they'd carried straight on to loot their camp. Oh man! Fuck! This is insane! Sent a desperate appeal to Alexander for help. Oh my god! Oh man! The king abandoned no! his pursuit of Darius, regrouped, and charged the Persian right wing. Yeah! Yeah, wah! Bitch! <laughs> it was 
the ah! hardest and bloodiest fighting of the oh battle, my God. claiming the lives of 60 of Alexander's companions. Oh God, that's crazy! Oh man! Finally, as news of Darius's flight spread across the battlefield, hmm. the last Persian horseman turned and fled. Oh, fuck! They the fled of now. Gaugamela was a stunning and complete victory for Alexander. Wow. According to ancient sources, he lost just a few hundred men, hmm. while the Persians lost thousands. Jeez. Oh, shit. Alexander had oh, routed Darius's great army. Hmm. And now, the road to Babylon, the empire's main capital, lay open. God dang it. <laughs> the Macedonian king Alexander. entered the great city in triumph, recognized <laughs> by Persian officials as its new rightful ruler. Oh, man. So, too, at the city of Susa, where Alexander ceremonially took his seat upon the royal throne of Persia. Oh, shit. <laughs> cool. In the Zagros Mountains, at a pass known as the Persian Gates, a mm. courageous Persian force held up Alexander's army for a month. Dude, this dude is insane. <laughs> the Greeks eventually found a mountain path that bypassed their position, allowing them mm. to encircle and wipe out the defenders. Oh. In early 330 BC, Alexander mm. reached Persepolis, huh. the empire's ceremonial capital. Oh. Alexander wanted to appear as a liberator to the Persians, as a legitimate successor to King Darius. Hmm. Oh! But what? Now, he ordered Persepolis to be pillaged and burnt. What? Retribution for the Persian invasion of Greece. Oh. the burning of Athens sacred temples in 480 BC. Oh shit, revenge. Oh my god. That's insane. Alexander now headed north into Media, hmm. where Darius had taken Media. refuge in the royal <laughs> city of Ecbatana. Wow. Alexander was determined to capture Darius, but the fugitive king fled east. Oh in shit. The hope of raising a new army in the provinces of Parthia, Bactria, and Sogdia. Dang. Will he be successful? Be. As Alexander closed in, the Persian oh, king shit. was murdered by one of his own governors. What? Bessus, who then proclaimed himself the empire's new ruler. What the fuck? Alexander gave orders for Darius to be buried in the royal tombs of Persepolis. Oh my alongside god. Alongside his ancestors. Holy shit. Then he paused to organize his vast new empire. Oh my Alexander god. Alexander appointed viceroys to rule the provinces on his behalf, hmm. keeping several Persians who had sworn loyalty in their posts. Man. Then he resumed his march east, hmm. his goal to find and kill the usurper Bessus. Oh shit. Subjugate the empire's eastern provinces. Wow and reach the far edge of the world. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, man! That's insane! Research and artwork for this video comes is from this Osprey dude is unstoppable. extensive range He's of crazy. In ancient history. <laughs> it's insane! Every Osprey book <laughs> examines a particular battle, campaign, or combat unit cool in shit. authoritative, meticulous detail. Okay. And with more than 3,000 titles, Osprey. they cover everything from ancient warfare to modern conflict. You can buy all this if you want. <laughs> Just go buy it. To see their online catalog. Online catalog. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters. Yeah, fame on Patreon. Possible. Great. And to the content. channel Invicta. Find out more Save. about Alexander's incredible story in their Moments in History series. Huh. Cool shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop it because the playlist is going to go into another video. But dang, son, this dude is unstoppable. What is wrong with him? This dude is like, if, if he sets out to do something, he will definitely get it. To just get, get it for himself, literally. He will do it and he will take it. And there's, there has never been anybody that can even give, give him a challenge or anything. This dude just goes out there and fucking 
wreaks havoc and takes it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Okay, Alexander the Great. No wonder, like, Napoleon was inspired by this dude. No wonder, because this dude is unstoppable. And was he ever, like, ever challenged? <laughs> like, was he ever... Like, did he ever experience any loss? Probably in his, like, childhood or something. Or probably, like, his um, in his personal life or something like that. But um, did he ever lose in the battles? I don't know. I don't think so. Because this dude is, like, nobody. And, and the enemies are have always, you know... Are, this dude is actually perfect and the enemies are not. The enemies can't afford to be as perfect as him either. I don't think so. So this dude, however he achieved this level of perfection or whatever it is that motivates him and however he's winning, whatever it makes him win all the time, like this dude is a perfectionist on that. He's crazy, okay? But um, yeah, that's my reaction. The reaction is pretty short compared to the other reactions. I'm sorry about that. It's because um, I just got done reacting to uh, Napoleon in, e in Egypt that video and that video came out like one hour eight minutes or something it's a big ass reaction i'll put that reaction at the end of this video so that you can watch it you guys can watch it but um yeah i'm sorry if the reaction came out small and i wasn't talking too much the, the video was really uh gripping and interesting to see the battle and um i already knew that like alexander is gonna win <laughs> before i started the video okay so it's not a surprise to me okay so <laughs> that, that's it for this reaction and also like this video was like the shortest in the whole series so i'm you know you can expect my reaction to be the shortest too so yeah that's it for this reaction if you like this reaction please make sure to subscribe to this channel it's my main channel this is where i upload like once a week but i upload shitload of videos at that one time okay so that you'll be covered for the rest of the week uh, watching my videos and stuff um go check out my backup channel the link in the description um I use, I, the reason why I, I upload once a week is because my backup channel keeps getting copyright struck every time. So it's, it's almost like repeat diarrheas. It's nasty. Okay. So it just, I'm not motivated enough to do it every day. I used to do videos every day, man. It sucks. You know, I used to manage both my channels. It sucks, bro. And the fact that I had both channels, it's because my original channel which was that um which was this got copyright struck and 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 i had to make my backup channel and there i got two or three strikes recently it's like this youtube is i have a history of copyrights i'm not even stealing anything you know youtube is a trash but uh, if you like uh, napoleon stuff it's on my backup channel and some of it uh, is here and other crusades and all of that stuff is over here okay so subscribe to uh, both my channels if you like the link will be description for my backup channel and subscribe to both my channels if you like this reaction and show me support and also like suggest me more political videos i will definitely note down and react to it type down in the comment section please tell me please suggest me more historical or political videos if you have any okay that you love that you want me to react to okay i will definitely uh, note it down and react to it okay so yeah that's it for this reaction um yeah that's it okay please subscribe to both my channels and i'll see you guys later goodbye until next part and next part is the last part let's see what happens there you know so that that's going to be cool what happens in the final part what will alexander do there i would like to know okay so please subscribe to both my channels and i'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>